Hello everybody. As we have done the first and second paragraph, in a first paragraph, we have just known about the poetess views that when she was driving to her home, she has seen her mother and she has realized that she was going old, her mother was going old and weak. In a second paragraph, she has just, she don't want to give the pain to her mother and feeling the same pain in her heart, she won't to divert her mind to another place. That's why she was watching outside world. That is the tree sprinting in the children, married children are spring out of their homes. Let us start with the third paragraph. But after the airport's security check, and the last when she has, they have reached to the airport, and they have just finished with the airport security check. Standing a few yards, we have seen there, but after that, her mother was standing a few yards away. Few yards away from the daughter. She has seen again towards her mother. I looked again at her. She has seen her mother again. Her van pale as a late winter snow. At her van, van is colorless. Colorless means going yellow. Your body color is just red texture is there. So she was going weak. Her face was with a dull, dull appearance is there. Pale, that is weak. As a late winter's moon. We have seen one here, the winter moon, winter's moon. Here, she has compared, she has told us about the similarity of the winter's moon with the face of her mother. Because we have seen the winter's moon, that is a sign of loneliness. The winter's nights are full of loneliness. A calmness is there, quietness is there. So, she has realized the same loneliness, the same quietness on her mother face. Here, that is the same as, as is there, as a late winter's moon. So, here also as a simile is there. She has given the similarity with the winter's moon. So, and here, the winter moon is also a symbol here. Which thing? That is a symbol, symbolic of death. Lack of brightness in the life. So in the last, she has realized the same thing, same thing with her mother that she was going old and she was lonely in this world because when she was away from her mother, she has told us standing a few yards away that she was away with her mother and she has realized that she was alone in this world. So, at that moment, she has also realized the pain of her mother. Fine? And felt that old familiar end, that is pain here. At this, after the security check, she has realized the same familiar pain. What, which pain the familiar? which a person used to, the familiar pain of my childhood's fear. Which, which fear that when the a, a kid is there, he or she has a fear in her mind that she will lose her mother, she will lose her mother. It's the same childhood's fear she has realized, the same pain, same fear of the childhood that she is going to lose her mother. Sometime because she has realized that she was going old. But all I said was see you soon, Amma. And with the confidence to give up hope to mother, to give up just hope for meeting soon, she has told her see you soon, Amma. These are the parting words that she has told to her mother, mother to console her. 
that she will soon meet her. All I did was smile and smile and smile. Here, smile and smile and smile. These, this sign, smile is a sign of a hope. Or actually, she is just hiding up her guilt. What was the guilt? That she was not available for her mother. That's why she is just hiding her guilt with a smile on her face. So, and for that old familiar thing, my childhood fear. The same pain she has realized that the she has realized at her childhood that she will lose just she has a fear that she will lose her mother. But all I said was see you soon Amma. So she want to console her mother that's why she has told her with the parting words what are the words see you soon Amma. She want to console her mother and she has told this all I did was smile and smile and smile. And at that time she was full with the guilt that she was not here for her mother. That, that's why she was smile, smile and smile. So here you can see the literary words here, literary devices. Smile and smile and smile. One word is repeating in a, one single line. There, it's mean it's a repetition here. And also this smile and smile as a symbolic also. What? The symbol of a hope for the brightness. Symbol of hope for the mother that she will come soon and they will just give the time to her mother. That's why this is a symbol of a hope for the mother. So we have just finished with our poem that is my mother at 66. What, what we have learned in this that this is basic based on the relationship between the mother and her daughter. She has realized that she has shown her concern that she was at the same time she was worried about her mother because she was going very weak and old. In the, list, in the last she said goodbye to mama. See you soon Amma. With these words she has been goodbye with Hollow smile, she want to fight her inner guilt and she want to console her mother that she has given the comment by this that she will come here and she will share her loneliness. So these are the, this is the poem that is based on the relationship between the mother and her daughter. So, this is a very simple poem with a very simple words. Uh, the simple topic is there regarding the relationship of the mother and the daughter. I hope you will understand this. So, thank you. Have a nice day.